Steam, the largest digital platform that sells PC games to players. Years ago, getting your game on the platform meant great success. These days, the games flood in faster than players can find them. Still, most players grab PC games from Steam and it is highly desired to launch on. Steam also has a variety of features to help boost game value, like achievements, leaderboards, community forums, and more. Hello Turtles, I'm Tim Bodette, and today I'm going to share why and how I'm bringing Accelerate to Steam. I have been creating racing games as a business for three years, but to date have only shipped two games on itch.io. One of those being Accelerate, which is a silly and challenging time trial racing game where you try over and over again to improve your time without dropping an egg. The idea was created for Ludum Dare 46, Keep It Alive, and I was ranked 12th in fun. That's the top 1%. I spent three weeks adding additional content and polish and put the game on itch.io for sale in May 2020, where it made $230 by the end of the year. $230 is not much money, and it only recouped 10% of the development costs, although it is my most profitable project yet. I see potential in the game as I've watched many players tackle it for more than two hours despite the small amount of content. They have an absolute blast playing the game, so Accelerate deserves a proper shot at the world. This is where Steam comes in. Itch.io is a good platform for developers sharing their jam games and trying to make their first dollar. However, Itch.io is heavily based towards other game developers and a smaller audience of players. It is a great platform, it takes a smaller cut, but it doesn't have the same reach to players as Steam does. In truth, we shouldn't be trying to sell our games to other developers. While some may be players and have a great time, developers are not your target audience. My sales so far have been mostly from other developers who wish to support my efforts in creating games as a business. I've known this for too long, and it's time to make a change. So I'm bringing my first game to Steam, and targeting players of racing games. Releasing a game on Steam won't magically produce sales. I do wish for that magic, but the reality is far more harsh. There are so many games released every day, that even a good game won't magically rise to the top without some marketing strategy. Now, I am a complete noob at marketing. I do not consider this YouTube channel or my Twitch stream as marketing efforts. Y'all are game developers and not my target audience for racing games. The marketing plan is to research and contact various press outlets and influencers that have audiences who would enjoy racing games. Also, I think with the theme of eggs, the timing of an Easter release will start the game on a good beat. This update and release has been in the works since October after talking to another developer about their experiences with Steam. I had already felt the game would be perfect for Easter, but I did not jump on development right away. Instead, I opted to wait until February to reduce the cost of development. In hindsight, I probably should have started in January to give myself a little extra time. If you are making games as a business, then take this one piece of advice to heart. You need to reduce risk of sinking by lowering your cost of development. This increases the chances of a successful project, which is a requirement for trying to do indie game development full time. By success here, I mean by covering costs or generating profit, not just shipping a game. Making games is a fun hobby too, and in that world it doesn't matter if games sell or not. Success as a hobby could be defined by having fun or completing a creation rather than covering running costs. I envy hobby development for this. The player focused audience is not the only benefit of bringing your game to Steam. There are loads of community features like discussion boards, screenshots, guides, leaderboards, and workshop to share player creations. There is also the benefit to many players using Steam to manage and launch their game collection. My plan was to use February for developing more content and adding more polish than the itch.io version had. By the time itch.io version was released, I had spent $50 on music and $2,600 in time cost. For Accelerate, I am aiming for a total budget, time cost included, of $10,000. I've also hired out some extra contract help because Easter is approaching rapidly. Perhaps I should have started in January. Do you think? Over the last few days of January, I set up a marketing funnel of sorts. I offered Accelerate for free when joining a mailing list I created, which had a campaign of five emails giving the player the game, some tips about it, and requested they fill out a survey. While this would not make me any money, it would give me valuable feedback to address in the big update before Steam. In the end, I got 85 people to sign up and 12 surveys filled out. The survey completion rate was higher than expected and gave me some solid data points. I don't want to make this a habit, but February and March is crunch time for me. 
I have already learned that my plans should have started in January, as Easter is not a date that I can move. I think the timing is an important beat to make magic happen. Therefore, I look for solutions that will progress the game further with the available time. The only solution I know is to spend money hiring contractors. Subscribe now to learn more about the process in a future video. Remember, I am doing my adventure alongside a full-time job for financial stability. Making money from games is not easy and I do not advise anyone to jump in without fully understanding the risk. I have been dedicated and focused for three years and very much still rely on my full-time job. This is going to be the case for the first several games released. I firmly believe with a proper marketing plan, good timing, and a little luck that people give it a chance, Accelerate could do very well. My expectations are very low, but with the community I've built from streaming and these videos, in combination with random discovery on Steam, I expect that at least 200 sales is likely. Accelerate would be my first project that generates real profit if it sells just over 4,000 copies. I make racing games as a business, and I share what I learn along the way. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with other developers considering to release a game, and subscribe for more game development tips and techniques. Until later, Turtles, have a good one.